So hi dear Libra, very very good afternoon to you guys. This is Anjali Taro and this is a general love reading for all the Libra Sun Moon Venus rising. Keep in mind this is general. It might or might not resonate with you at the first place. The second thing, the roles can be reversed anytime. Third thing, this is a reading of current feelings, so there's no time spent to this. So let's start. Your partner's current feelings for you right now are. Let's see. Your partner's current feelings for you right now are Libra. Your partner's current feelings for you right now are. Let's see. Your partner's current feelings for you right now are the world, the judgment card, and the four of swords. Okay, this person, okay, Libra, your person is feeling like the connection is over or a cycle is completed between you and this person. You know, a very painful cycle is completed, a very painful cycle is finished between you and this person. There's a rebirth to this connection. There's a rebirth to this connection and they feel like there's, uh, there should be a second chance given to this connection. Forgiveness is here and they're forgetting everything from the past. They're forgiving you and they are asking for forgiveness from your side as well. And this person is trying to heal the situation. I feel like they're not talking to you deliberately. They are not uh, making this, making any kind of move deliberately because they feel like healing the situation is the right thing to do right now. Might be this person is going through some kind of physical ailment and that is why they're healing from that thing. This is just for 1% of you people and for others I feel like this person is feeling like giving second chance to this connection, healing the connection and completing a very painful cycle with you. For some of you, you guys already broke up and uh, there is no chance that you guys are going to be together but still this person feels like there is a chance and there is some kind of unfinished business between you guys right now as well and I feel like this person is ready to have a second chance to give a rebirth to this connection you know. And they feel like there's a hope for reconciliation, there's a hope for love, there's a hope for coming back together. And this person is trying to heal, trying to heal and deliberately taking a step back from this connection. Because four of swords is three plus one. So three of swords is like this person is kind of this, uh, very much sad and depressed and going through a very rough patch of their life right now. And they're trying to have a brand new start with you. So four of swords is made up with two cards, three of swords and the ace of swords. So I do see this person trying to heal the situation between you and them. Might be they hurted you, might be you hurted them, might be there was a third party situation between you guys. And now they are feeling like healing back or uh, deliberately holding back is the right thing to do at least right now. At least for the time being. So that you and this person can be together forever again. Okay. So there are two major arcana cards. This person is something, someone who is having a big, big impact on your life right now. This is not someone who is like a uh, kind of on and off or someone who is kind of a casual person in your life. This is someone who is having a very big impact on your life right now. And this person is trying to come back to your life, not right now, but in the future they will try their best to come back and give this connection another chance again. Okay. And this is what I'm getting here. So Gemini Libra Aquarius energy. Okay. Let's see what you feel for this person, your feelings for them right now. Let's see. Five of Cups and the Devil and the Wheel of Fortune. You are feeling sad. You are feeling very, very sad. You are kind of regretting something. You are feeling like this person. You are kind of obsessed with this person. Loki obsession is there, right? For some of you, there is third party situation. You are feeling like this person is having another person also in their life and that is making you really sad, okay? And you are kind of depressed. You are kind of sad. You are kind of regretting something what you did with this person or you are regretting what happened between you guys in the past. Or it could also be possible that you were controlling, you were over controlling the situation or they were over controlling the situation. There was some kind of addiction or codependency. There was something that makes, that, that is making you regret something right now right and you are leaving everything on the universe you are feeling like okay whatever will happen i will just accept it wheel of fortune is a card of slowly but surely things are going to turn in your favor but right now you are kind of feeling like sad from inside you are kind of heartbroken you are kind of regretting something you are kind of obsessed with this person you are kind of no matter how hard you try to move on from this person you are like i am always stuck on this person i am obsessed with this person and you know, this person is kind of your addiction. You are codependent on this person. You are kind of addicted to this person. And you are like, slowly but surely things should, you know, go in my favor. So you are leaving everything on the universe. You are like, okay, whatever will happen, will happen on the divine timing. 
uh, I'm just surrendering to the universe right now but from deep inside you are kind of hurt very hurt from inside because you are regretting something might be you regret you are regretting what you did with this person in the past might be you are regretting having a third party situation in this connection and you feel like slowly but surely things are turning in your favor wheel of fortune is like things are turning in your favor slowly very slowly but surely they are happening okay behind the scene you can say in the energetical world so cancer pisces scorpio and capricorn energy right now and let's see what is the mutual energy of this connection where this connection is going right now libra let's see okay the sun in reverse i feel like there's no this lack of happiness this lack of growth there is lack of expansion in this connection right now and i do see that this connection right now is stuck okay you have to unstuck the energies you have to you know yes you have to unstuck the energies you to, you, you have to have clear and uh, clear cut communication heart to heart conversation with this particular person if you want this connection to work out in your favor so the sun in reverse is kind the of, kind of the worst card that you can get for a relationship or for your happiness could be dealing with the leo here okay but this connection right now is not going anywhere stuck kind of energy let's pull two card for you for the angel messages this okay okay let me shuffle one more time no need to worry no need to worry is your first option first question first answer and the second is in the near future so no need to worry there is something better coming your way in the near future right so thank you so much for connecting i'll see you soon in the next video bye bye take care god bless you namaste